All right, that's right, everybody. This is happening, and we're back. Welcome to the Untouched Gamer. I am Super Jacob. I'm Leia, the Untouched Gamer. And this, what I'm about to say, is going to be the closest thing that you will ever get to a apology we didn't upload videos. So some of you may have noticed that we were trying to do every day and we were doing the 10 minute episodes with Willow and everything and uh, we had a break for the um, holidays um, and then tried to start again in the first year but then our, we, we didn't upload anything. Um, there's no apology. We have four kids, we run a restaurant, we have other things going. But I will let you know that it's not because we're not doing stuff that will be content. We are currently working on, uh, is it called Toddler Top Gaming mm -hmm. or Table Toddler Gaming? I haven't decided. What we it haven't decided. It's, it's something be like a that. Podcast. It's yeah. It's a it's a podcast. We'll put some picture up or something. Uh, and uh, are you paying attention to the mm -hmm. game? Okay. We'll we'll put some picture up or something, and so y'all can listen to it. What it is is uh, our family tabletop role playing game with uh, me as the GM, and then uh, a party of four. Uh, my wife, uh, and my nine-year-old son, and my three-year-old son, and my two-year-old daughter. Uh, my seven-month-old daughter is not currently old enough to, uh, to really, um, be involved, um, but eventually I'm sure she will be, uh, but so what we're doing is we're, um, we're recording it, but then we're editing it to try to take out most of the, baby the crying. babies crying and or the, toddlers getting upset or dead air or dead air <laughs> so so that it'll it'll be you know mostly the the things happening in the game and uh you know me gming the game so we are creating content it's just now we have content created that we need to edit and so it's not going up uh, and in the meantime, uh, w our uploads, as far as what um, episodes will be uploaded, uh, are really contingent upon whether or not we just feel like playing or not. Um, and we were kind of doing that more often, uh, playing uh, playing the, the tabletop RPG more often. Um, and so this kind of fell by the wayside because we just didn't, you know, that we were using our time for our, our gaming time for that. Uh, so, um, you know, obviously uh -oh. like, comment, subscribe, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and you want to use your slash technique with Eddie uh, okay. when he's doing his thing. Um, if um, I don't die. Yeah, you, um, yeah, you're a goner. I'm all there dead. you go. Um, so I, I think you needed to use you needed to use the, your slash technique on him. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then I saved. But so that's the first part, uh, just the the opening. Um, so hit the button because we don't want that their little video thing might be, and their music might be copyrighted and everything. Uh, so so just you know subscribe, check back uh, for for content. It'll come out when it comes out. We don't have a humongous subscriber following right now so odds are most people listening to this are watching it so far after the fact that it doesn't matter um, which is why we're not concerned about it we've got um, over 70 maybe 80 videos up now um, so there's something for everybody to watch in a backlog uh, excuse me uh, so so yeah uh, we're doing some Chrono Trigger now, and we had just um, gotten back from the future, um, and we went through this. This is the the cave to the Mystics yeah. by by the Mystic Mountain. All right. Slash attack, you say? Um, yeah. So use um, share and dag. Okay, him tech. Yeah, and use slash attack. Okay. And then with them, do combo. 
go all the way down. Antipode. All right, and that should um, that set of things should do it. I mean, not just one. Wow. But yeah, that that'll rock him with Antipode, and then and then Eddie can just slash. Yeah, sorry, I was distracted and talking about, you know, all our scheduling stuff. There we go. Okay, so this, yeah, hits hit him with slash. Whoops. I oh, no, definitely don't do that. <laughs> don't don't hit him with anything. Don't hit him with anything. Hit back. Whoop. Accident. I accidentally hit him. Okay, you got yourself killed. I said, I said hit him with slash, and you decided to not hit him with slash, and then hit him with the other thing. You, you just wiped your party. <laughs> when he does that thing where it says, go ahead and attack, I'm pretty sure you have to hit him with Slash. I could be wrong. Antipode, Antipode, he stopped doing the thing. Ah. No, go back. Combo. Antipode. <laughs> you have to pay attention to what your enemy's doing. This better hit him, because otherwise I'm dead. Well, he won't do the thing. Okay. He's not doing his little guard thing. See, I'm dead. Well, I mean, yeah, you were, <laughs> there's nothing you could do. What, what were you going to do? Throw a tonic at someone? Yeah. Yeah. Don't attack him when he does that, hey, go ahead and attack thing and has his guard up. Because he automatically hits your whole party for 100 each time he do, you attack. He counterattacks for a hundred. Did you not notice that you hit no. him and he immediately did water wave every time you hit him? No. Yeah. And that's why I said that's why I, because I think doing slash stops that. Well, hit the button. Okay. You got it. And hit buttons. Keep hitting buttons because we don't want to accidentally be at the menu. Yeah. Because it's got copyrighted video and music. Everybody's watching you play this one little part over and over and over again. It's not in. I know, I know. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, I'll stop busting at you, but the point is, when he does the, hey, go ahead, try to attack thing, that's when you have to use slash, and... If if he has his arms like that, where he's guarding like that, do not attack him. You can you can tell by how he's standing. Okay. Go 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 go. Right, so when he's doing that, well, no, no, attack him! Attack him! Now? That means nothing. Okay. okay. Go to combo and hit antipode. He will say, go ahead and try to attack, and he will be standing there without moving around. And he'll have his arm up guarding. Watch. You should be able to hit him a couple times. You should be able to hit him a couple times before doing it. Nope, nope. Okay. Go over. Combo. No, no. Combo. Combo. Slash. Don't do anything. Now heal everybody with her. Her combo. Oh. Heal somehow. Uh, Slash didn't do it. I think maybe you just have to not attack while he's doing that. Maybe you have to just heal. Um, use an item with Dagny. What are you doing tonics for? All right. Okay, go down to item. Item. You scroll down. Do you have any... Revive. You use your revive on him. Okay, now go down to item. Click. Okay, go up. Okay, it should be mid-tonic on Eddie. 
There you go. Alright, see how he's moving around? Okay, you can attack him now. And I guess you could probably use lightning instead of slash. I thought slash would stop him from doing that. You definitely want to use antipode. I must be thinking of a different enemy that slash prevents their little thing. But just hit him with antipode and lightning. Lightning. Yeah. See if it does more than Slash did. Yeah, there a little bit more. Okay, go down to Antipode. Yep, Antipode him. Now with Eddie, use uh, uh, mid tonic, mid -tonic on, on Dagny if you can. Or better yet, go down. Wait, use... No, no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go to tech. Okay. You're going to go back, and you're going to wait for her to get up, and you're going to do Aura Whirl. There you go. And then with Dagny, you're going to use a Mid-Tonic. There you go. Item. Mid-Tonic. Well, I didn't mean on her, but... Fine, everybody use a regular tonic on themselves. No, 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 no. Item, tonic, regular tonic, self. Item, tonic, self. There we go. And now just wait. Or you can tonic Eddie if you want. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so now you can lightning him and antipode him. Um, yeah. You have to wait till Dagny's up, and then you can... Oh, you're healing. Okay. Yeah, because she's down at 30. Wait, wait. Nope, he says he did his thing, so go back. And heal. Just tonic on herself. Just use tonic on... Have everybody just use a tonic. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Just wait. Just wait. Okay, combo. Yeah, but no. Go down. Oh, now combo. Yep. Go down. Or a whirl. Now just use a. Um, Use a tonic on herself. Or on Eddie. Whichever one you think, yeah. Okay, so when Eddie gets up, now you can lightning. Oop. Yep, lightning with Eddie. Tech, lightning. And, oh, no, 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 no. Go item, mid tonic, Eddie. All right, and um, you can have him just, just tonic himself, or you can wait. Oh, wait, 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 go back, because the guy said brief counter attack break, lightning him, antipode. There you go, hit him hard. Oh, there you <gasps> go, got him. Yay! Woo! Now we can actually just talk about stuff. Cause See, you can't just you you can't just just auto you know auto attack on the enemies. 
If only the great Magus, who had brought forth the Lavos 400 years ago and destroyed the human race, the world would have belonged to the mystics. Grrr. So you following the plot? So Magus tried to destroy the humans. And brought forth? Lavos. And Lavos is? The destroyer of the planet's future. Okay. But you remember we were in the the future thing and we did we see the De Lavos thing? Yeah, it was like some big giant uh, okay. thing. So if we go to the Middle Ages and take out Magus, can we change history? We could use the gate at the fairgrounds. Oh no. <laughs> so I All right. Remember, you can push a button to go walk faster. Yeah, always, sure. What did you do? Why? Game over. <laughs> Uh-oh. Cool. All right. So, go home. There's Dagny's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go to Dagny's house. Come on. You just had several near-death experiences. You had several death experiences. Go say hi to your family. This definitely looks like Dagny's place. Dagny and Tabin only care about their silly toys. Here's what we earned today. You're so thoughtful. That must be Dagny's room. Nice little house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're just in time. There you go, so you can equip that. makes my fire better. And her speed up, which is good. So there you go. Um, seems good. Alright. But we don't want to give any uh, spoilers for um, for our uh, role playing session. Um, is just, it, uh, just know that it's, we're just, we're all just learning. None of us, with the exception of Super Giga here, have ever played any tabletop role-playing games before, and half of our players are age three and under. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, uh, my son, who's nine, uh, is really enjoying it, uh, obviously, uh, that age, yeah, is just perfect for it. Um, the, the three, the three-year-old. <sighs> you had me so worried. I heard you were going to be executed. Stop scaring me like that. What? You just walked in, your mom yelled at you that you she thought you were going to be executed after you got arrested, and you just walk out the door? Well, I You're an ungrateful son. I tried to talk to her again, but all she would do is just keep repeating herself. Oh, Dagny, we hardly see you these days. I've been kind of busy. 
But what can be said uh, about our playthrough that uh, that's not spoilerish? Let's see. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I'll just have to get the first ep couple episodes out, so. So that we can talk. About. So we can talk about it a little bit without totally ruining the. Um, well, some people um, in. In the games that I've played in the past, there was never really a sense of, um... I think I hit something. There yeah. It's never, never really, really a sense of danger. Um, I don't think... I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to recall off the top of my head how many, um, how many characters of mine have ever, uh... Have ever died and I don't know. Have have I mentioned in talking about it? No, you've never mentioned any of your characters dying. Cause I well, in one different uh, system, some somebody had a, a homebrew system that was completely. Uh, it was maybe a, a D10 based system or something anyway. So how do I figure out which is which? Should I click on it? Yeah. Alright, so that's lean square. And but in you know uh, a D20 system I don't think I've ever had a character actually pass on. Uh so, uh, if you go talk to the man on the um, other side of it here, uh, he usually gives you an idea of where you're supposed to go. Uh, so you can you can talk to him, and if you click on that bucket, it heals you up to full. You probably have to. There you go. Um, but if you talk to the guy at the middle, he'll uh, he'll usually help you out with advice on where to go next in the game. So if you yeah, so so talk to him again. Well, okay, except for this one time where he doesn't tell you where to go. Um, so I know you're supposed to go back to the Middle Ages. So I guess 400, well, some 400 or 600. Oh well, he said 400 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So okay. Year 600. Okay, so we're trying to go to the year 600. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, characters um, passing on. Um, so, when you have a role-playing game and there's no chance of peril, then the game loses some of its um, weight. Uh, now there's been plenty of games that I've played, uh, without... Right, that's the only one that says 600 AD. Okay, well then that so would I be weird. we need to go to that one. But, uh, th there's been plenty of games that I've played where the, the GM, um, I guess it's because we were younger, and, you know, everybody wanted the, the party to succeed, even... The, the GM. Define younger. Uh, 14, 15, 16, you know, that, that time period. Um, so, and, and my brother, uh, was, he DM'd a lot of the games that, uh, I remember playing. I remember he was, he was, he was the primary DM of any, any games that I played. And so... And I don't remember too many people ever really dying. I know a few did, but I, I never did. But it was never really prominent. There was always generally a way out. Uh, a way to... Um, and, and I definitely never remember a, a, a total... What is called a, a total party kill. A TPK. Um, but it was, it was fun... Because it was fantasy exploration, it was it was the experience, 
but it was never it, it never had the real weight of challenge it never felt as as epic because i don't remember uh growing up any of my times oh baby's fussing yeah here here i'll take the yeah. controller and i'll get take care of the baby all right <laughs> i don't remember um really feeling too much like my my character was uh quote unquote in peril uh ever mama's coming to get you and that's a fine way to play i suppose um Okay, this guy says uh, the legendary hero has appeared. He went to see the king. Now Magus's army hasn't a chance. Um, they say the king has been, been wounded. Is this the end? Now the hero's appeared. He'll save us. Is it true? I heard Magus's army has taken the bridge. Uh... Oh, and there's one of these things. So. Hey, it's okay. Come here. So Vegas's army is taking the bridge. I heard Magus Army at the bridge. We're in trouble now. Wearing the hero medal, the chosen one has arrived. We're saved. So basically, good. I wonder who the hero is. We will have to see. No window shoppers. What do you want? I, I want to buy a window. Ooh, revives. You might need those. Let's yeah, can you buy me pump some? up the tonics. Um, go ahead and pump up the heals. I don't know how much static status we're going to get into, but um, there are only ten. So. Um, revives. We've got five. Um, we might need to buy some equipment later. We've got five revives and four shelters. You think that's going to be okay? Yeah. All right. We might need to need to buy some something else. Okay. Um. Does he not sell weapons? Huh? No, that was just the uh, item merchant. So I got to go to the other. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. Uh, but you can hit a button and, and switch. Um. You can switch your party members. That's the true sin. Residence. Market. I guess that was it. Okay, so... Um, so down there's the bridge where Magus' army is. Yeah. So let's see what these guys say. The rations have run out. Have the supplies from Guardia Castle arrived yet? Okay, so we gotta get supplies from Guardia Castle. So when um, when I was playing young when we were younger, uh, it really played more like a video game. Uh, it was just moving from fight to fight, uh, and then a lot of the mechanics weren't as fluid. Let's see, I started in 
third edition and then 3.5 legendary heroes uh, he just arrived a moment ago to meet the king he's recuperating in bed and uh, I think we we played um, 3.5 All, all the way through. I never, um, I've never played fourth. Um, I definitely heard very uh, strong opinions. Oops. Oh, bronze mail. I definitely heard. I've let down my kingdom since cannot locate Cyrus. Our sole hope rests on the boy who has the hero medal. He searches the southern continent for the sword that can defeat Magus. Okay, so the boy is on the southern continent searching for the sword that can defeat Magus. Makes sense. Is the southern continent the, um... Across the bridge. Oh. So. And I heard, um... I, I, I heard good things and bad things about 4th edition. Um, so it's apparently very, um, combat-oriented, video gamey, and, and streamlined, and, uh, tried to make it, uh, go, har harken back to some of the earlier, um, ideas of how, how the game would be played, uh, from its inception, especially as far as, like, tournament and competitive play, and I do believe that I understand that fourth edition is still by you know considered by some people to be the the best for like quote unquote tournament play. I don't know. Um, no, you, there's a lot of mixed messages on that subject online. Uh, but I never played it. Um, I heard I heard things about it, and you know some things that I heard about it. I like I would think, oh that that sounds pretty cool. I, Wonder how that would work. Some things you hear, you hear about it and go, "Oh, I don't know about that." Um, but without actually experiencing it, um, you really just—I um, guess it's one of those things you just have to experience yourself and decide whether or not you like it. Uh, but it's not like—it's not like when Fourth Edition came out, uh, three and three point five edition just disappeared. Obviously, if you still like three point five, you could just, uh, yeah. You could just stay at 3.5. Um, but then. Alright. So this guy is the brother of the general that was at the bridge. That's what I just skipped through accidentally. Because well. I was trying to hit the button to talk to the lady. And I talked to him. Uh, hey. Stop bickering. Grow up. Pipe down. What do you know? Okay, so now we're going to walk over here, and he's going to say stop. Nope. He's going to say stop when I go right here. There we go. Um, so then, I yeah, I heard, um, yeah, 5th edition came out. Uh, and... Um, I heard heard about it uh, from I probably uh, I heard about it from Ryan Haywood's stream uh, because he was talking about their campaign of it, um, and he talked about how uh, he, either he or somebody else wasn't really a big uh, into tabletop at all, but he talked about how he had really, uh, really enjoyed uh, doing it, and some of the things uh, that he said about it kind of kind of intrigued me. It sounded uh, more like, uh, what I remembered, um, you know, playing, playing D&D &D growing up, and it, uh, 
So I checked it out. I, I, I looked at it. I was like, ooh, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe this is something. And, uh, and so I looked at it and I really liked it. It had all the things, 5th edition. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think it had all the things that I liked from 3 and 3.5. Um, and really streamlined a lot of things. Uh, like, every every change was like, oh yeah, this is different than I remember, but I'm okay with that. I like it. I like how it works. Um, Are you out on the map? Yeah. You gonna save it? Yeah. So, so I decided, oh, let's, uh, let's see if my wife would like to play some 5e with me and and well you were there like I well you got me you got me the uh, player manual yeah the, that's right for I'd... the D&D 5th edition for, for Hanukkah yeah and uh that was one of her presents and we we read through some of it and made yeah. a character and yeah. I kind of did a little um I I did a like a for you just a just practicing the, uh, like little practice sessions after we we made a character I did did some practice sessions showing you how stuff was done uh just to see if she would, uh, if if she thought it was a fun thing to do. Because yeah, I've never, I've never played D and D before. I mean, I heard about it, I knew it existed, but I never played it, and so I didn't really understand what it was all about. And so after you explained it to me, I was like, oh, this sounds like. A fun game. You you make huh. up a story as you go along. You everyone works together. It's got some math in it, but that's just to make sure that uh, everything stays fair yeah. and you don't dissolve into games of well, I I hit you, no, you didn't, uh, -uh yeah, huh? Yeah. yeah, it's like a uh, structured improv combined with a structured version of what we used to do on the floor as kids, you know, with my brother and, uh, you know, when you're six years old and you've got your little army men and they've got their little Lego men on the other side of the, the, the room on the linoleum in the, in the floor and you, you'd say, well, my guys do this and, and he says, well, my guys do this. Um, but instead of, you know, a couple six-year-olds who ultimately just um, get in trouble... Uh yeah, or like me and my sister, you know, we would have we would have these elaborate plot work. lines that we would play out these stories with our with our toys, with our dolls and stuffed animals yeah. and whatnot. We would have these extremely elaborate stories that would take place over days <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. We would develop the story over a number of days. Or even, you know, like over the period at one time, we had a whole story that we played out over the whole course of a school year. We were in a, our, we were in some of our own, like, imagined version of the closest that we could think of as post-apocalyptic society. Because it was during the whole Y2K thing. Oh, really? So y'all yeah, were playing so, some so post-apocalyptic stuff. We had stuff. heard about, you know, the whole Y2K, a little bit, bits and pieces about the whole Y2K thing. And so we incorporated that a little bit into our play. And so we had this elaborate underground bunker with supplies and lots of levels and elevators and and so as we went about you know our school during the day we would pretend that we would also you know be carrying out our duties in our little 
underground bunker with elevators. Yeah, so when when I explained uh, what what tabletop role playing uh, is, and she realized that it was basically the the grown up adult version of a, a board game that really mirrored the type of game that you played when you were a, a, just a kid at heart, innocent on your on your bedroom floor with your brothers and sisters. Uh, that that really resonated. Uh, and it resonates with most people is is the thing um, yeah and some people think that oh tabletop role playing that's just for that's just for super nerds that's um, the the idea that well i mean we are super nerds but yeah. I think most people are nerds. Most once once you get someone uh, really acquainted with um, what well, you're doing. Well, I think being a nerd is kind of a more in thing to be nowadays. Yeah, what I with, guess. What with the proliferation of technology, I mean, now that now the nerds have the last laugh. Yeah. Because like they're that. the ones who are running everything. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And since I was uh, a drama geek and a math geek, you know, I, I did all that back in school. Uh, I, and also with the chess club. Uh, really, when you think, you put drama and chess and then math uh, all, all together, you've got all the makings of tabletop <laughs> role playing. Uh, you know, moving things on a grid square, uh, you know, acting and doing improv and, and, and creating, creating a story with other people and doing the yes and, uh, in, in, and yes anding other people, uh, then, uh, add in all that, that you're, you're doing the math and problem solving and, and critical thinking skills. And then I was also a, 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 a literature, uh, guy. I was in, uh, you know, and, and I've, I've written two novels of dubious, um, uh, quality. <laughs> Let's see which one this one hurts. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the top one with ice and see what that does. Uh, okay, so ice hurt the top one. And fire hurt the bottom one. Yeah, something like that. I might need to fix. Okay, so I'm gonna mid tonic share and I'm gonna ice the top yeah. one. And I'm gonna fire, fire the, bottom. the bottom one. We'll see how that does. So, and then uh, you know we're we're all a family, and it's something you can do uh, together. Uh, with with your entire family, and and yes even with the little kids uh, and it encourages them you know that they, they're they're doing math uh, the, you know storytelling and and you know dynamically understanding uh, how you know word association what's going on uh, word association with what what's going on uh, on the table versus what's uh what's being said and then critical thinking skills uh and, and free association uh and also just as a you know bonding experience where the whole family uh is um you know we don't have a a television uh like we we have this monitor that uh we move around wherever it needs to to be. Yeah, so we move it back here to our uh, recording studio, otherwise yeah. known as the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, uh, which is a, just a giant walk-in closet. Um, 
but, or we but, move it out to the kitchen <laughs> to watch, you know, videos with the DVD player. Uh, uh, got her. Okay, but, like, we can't flip a switch and turn on, you know, Fox News or CNN or whatever. Uh, we, we don't have that. <laughs> we, we, we have access to the internet, so if we want to look at that stuff on our phones or whatever, that's one thing. Uh, but, but so, for, for us to get around the kitchen table... Uh, the the dining room table, and and all spend time together as a family. Uh, it, it's uh, it's a much better experience than what we may otherwise be doing. Um, all right, you got the bottom part. Yeah. Um, so there's a whole host of reasons for for why we we choose to do. Oh no! Ice was the only one that hurt, right? Yeah. Let's just see if their attacks do anything. Um, try that. So. Ooh, he got a critical. That was nice. Ooh, he stole his magic points. Well, that's all right. It doesn't need him. Oh, there we go. Um, <laughs> second, you get out to the map. You need to save again, though. Yeah, those. Uh, that save before a boss battle and save after a boss battle. Okay, so. And then I think I'm ready to take the controller back, and you can. Hold yes. The baby. <laughs> well, I have to. Um, I have to take a break for a second. So. So I'm gonna um Are we gonna end the episode here? Um, um do you think this is a good time to end the episode or do you wanna keep playing? Yeah, and then we can start another episode. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Just immediately roll to the next one. Okay. Well everybody that's been this episode and we'll see y'all um next time. Uh say goodnight, Leia. Night Leia.